So it felt like a so it felt like a five minute conversation and we filled up all of our time talking all things Facebook, all things being strategic with our time and with our resources of our cash when it comes to advertising on Facebook. So we talked about the importance of having, get your house in order and have a good consistent organic strategy first and look at your insights, get intel on what's working already with your Facebook. And we had some great examples of videos that are rocking and then keeping an eye on that and potentially experimenting with doing some video ads, but without not, also being respectful of the journey of where your customer's at. So going cold to go straight by now to cold audiences that are just at the awareness, get to know you stage is not going to have the best success of return and the importance of nurturing and telling um, uh, rather than just selling. We also talked about privacy, of course, getting your admin roles in place and making sure you are well aware who owns your pages and who are admins on your pages and making sure that anyone that is an admin on your Facebook page, that they have two-factor authentication set up. Because even if it's not you, if you know I've got my stuff together, uh, a lot of who emojis can happen to your business if you're anyone that's an admin on your page doesn't have two factor and things can go down pretty bad. And uh, we touched on at the end there, just on smart collaborations. If your community does not have a Facebook group for local traders or local businesses, take the lead and be that, be that guy or gal. Um, so um, to, to create that opportunity for them. Um, and there was lots more, but I'll leave it at that. But uh, thank you to my group. That was, uh, that was great. Thanks, Fabi. Thanks, everyone. Awesome. And Hannah and Em. Hi, sorry, there's some dog noise going on in the background. So I'm sorry if that's very loud. Um, uh, so we had some really great chats in our group about video editing, filming videos, photography, and using photography of photos on your website. And so we talked about so many things, but we talked about uh, a few different tools that you might use for video editing. So um, if you've got the capacity and the skills to use something really complicated like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere or something, great. But otherwise, things like iMovie uh, for Mac, uh, Mac users, Canva, or there's a great online editor, which is free called CapCut. Um, those kinds of tools can really do the job for you if uh, if you're looking to do some DIY video editing. Uh, we also talked about outsourcing to uh, to video, video editors and photo editors on Fiverr and Upwork and those kinds of websites, um, uh, but being very clear about the instructions that you're providing to, to these people who are doing the work for you so that you're, you're going to get the result that you want. Um, we talked about uh, some video ideas. So... Uh, if you're in the service industry, um, maybe getting some customer testimonials um, and how you can uh, use tools like Video Ask and what was the other one? Vocal Video are great tools to, uh, you know, submit a link for someone to film a video and then get it back to you. Um, and just having that conversation to let them know why it's so important that they, they do this for you. Um, uh, doing demonstrations and getting the noise, uh, the background noise reduced on that using some simple tools, um, doing training videos and trying to keep them short so that you're keeping people's attention, um, embedding videos on, rather than sending someone to YouTube to watch a video. So keeping the video on your website so that they don't end up on YouTube and go down a rabbit hole of whatever. Um, yeah, we, we talked about heaps, but that's, that's, a, that's a little summary there. Do that again, unmuted. It sounds like it was really worthwhile. So um, I've also put some links there and I'm going to put a few more. I don't know if um, you've had the chance to do that in your sessions, but what you said, Despi, reminded me, um, especially with people getting great interaction with their video, reminded me of a Facebook ads course where using a video to create a custom audience is the perfect way to move people um, from cold to warm. So I'm going to just... Um, put the links there for you. Hopefully they all come um, okay. Yeah, that should give you all the links. Um, 
and yeah, definitely if you've got if you've got great Facebook videos running, that is really your first stage to get these apps set up and avoid going to people that are cold. Um, images, uh, our image red course has got great ideas and information on how to resize your images for the webs if people are stuck with that and how to actually back up your images and the questions to ask to your photographer um, to get the, the source images and not be left in the lurch with a tiny image that you're trying to put on the billboard in the future. Thanks everyone for joining us today. Um, anything else we wanted to add apart from Hopefully it was really useful to you. Um, please chat to us your feedback. We love to take some screen grabs and entice other people to come. But it seems that it was a perfect small group today to get everyone to make the most out of it. Thanks for organizing a late entry. I appreciate You're it. You're very welcome. I, I, All I've right. got some really good stuff today. Fantastic. Um, well, bye everyone. Go and have some it's lunch. It's and... last day. Uh, yes. Coach Anna, it's her last day today. So I just want to publicly wish her well I took a lot of photos of you and video so oh, you, we're gonna smash our socials with last day Hannah love thank you Hannah thanks everyone thanks, thanks. Hannah. Brilliant. bye see you next time bye, bye everyone. everyone thank you